Hi everyone, Sherry here. And today I wanted to take a few minutes and share with you my thoughts on the Faber Castell Polychromos pencils. These came today. I purchased them um, basically while I still had a full time job and could afford them. And they come in this nice tin with uh, little pull out trays. They're nice, they have handles to uh, get the trays out. And there is the pencils and all their yumminess. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare these to the Prismacolors that I already have. I started with the Prismacolors. I really like them and I like the way they blend. Um, but I did want to compare the two. So here I have similar pencil colors laid out. I tried to pick um, as best I could um, similar colors. And then I'm going to be using the Newton's Nook. I used Newton's Nook, Newton, Newton Loves Coffee stamp set. And I stamped the kitty twice with some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And uh, then I used Polychromos to color one and the Prismacolor to color the other. And right here, you really can't tell a difference. Um, maybe one of the cup sleeves is a little bit brighter than the than the other coffee cup sleeve. The paper that I used is a Bristol vellum. There is a, definitely a difference between the Bristol vellum and the Bristol smooth. The vellum has a little bit more tooth, uh, so the surface is a little rougher and it will accept the pencil pigments um, much more nicely than the smooth. The smooth is essentially made for pen and ink work. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually taking my lightest green and my darkest green and uh, well from, from each uh, different manufacturer and I'm laying it down. The one on the left is the um, Polychromos and the one on the right is the Prismacolor. So I'm laying down my darkest color over my lightest color. And normally when I color, I'm going to have that mid-tone as well. But um, for this purpose, I, I didn't see a need for it. Um, so you can see both colors go down. Or I'm sorry, both brands go down about the same. I apologize for the camera. I had it too close for what I was doing here. Um, so I'm using my blender pencil to blend these out and they both blend, you know, rather nicely. The one thing that I do like about the Polychromos as opposed to the Prismacolors is that when you color over the uh, whatever black ink that you use, the Polychromos does not dull out the crispness of that black ink. So you can see here on the one with the Polychromos, it the black line is just as crisp as if I had not even colored. But over here with the um, Prismacolor pencils, that line is dulled out just a little bit where I, I suppose there's a waxy build up there and it will not come off. So I did have to go over like the nose and the eyes on the kitty on your right with a black pen because they were just too dull. And the other difference in these two pencils are the polychromos has a higher price point. Um, the Prismacolors seem to be a little bit more affordable. Um, but I do like them both again and, and they're going to have a place in my studio so I don't know. What do you think? Thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye now.